Welcome to the On Boat Work, Targets and Photos video. This video covers important things to consider when setting up targets and taking photos for boat deck measurement with PhotoModeler. This video expands on the Getting Started with Boat Deck Measurement tutorial video. But if you're just doing the photography part, watching that video is not a prerequisite. A review of key points. First, how to place targets. The letter sheet target system is used. Targets, including the letter sheet A, are placed inside the panel and additional targets are placed around it. Targets are spread out so that most photos can capture 15 plus targets. Place targets to maximize the spread across the non-skid panels and areas of interest. Also, Placing targets on non-panel areas can help increase the photo coverage. Any surface to be used for tracing must have at least three non-linear targets on it. In the bad case, the slanted surface around the daggerboard hole has only two targets. Spread targets across the panel, not just in a line. Ensure the targets are flat. Make sure the targets do not move between photos. If using paper targets, take down all four corners. This video covers flat panels. Curved and non-planar surfaces use different techniques that are not covered here. Second, how to take photos. Take one group of photos looking down at the panels. Then another group of photos with a slight angle that circles around the panels. And include some overview shots that cover as much of the area as possible. Combining these groups of photos provides a good set to work with. Take lots of photos. You're better off with more photos than not enough. Move the camera between each photo. That is, take a step to the side between shots. Do not stand in one place and rotate the camera. Also, do not adjust the zoom. As the camera moves, make sure there is significant overlap between each photo and the next photo. There should be a shared set of targets between each photo. Photos can be rotated both horizontally and vertically. Cover as much of the photo as possible with targets. Include targets at the edge of the photo, not just the center. To reduce blur, make sure you have good lighting. If needed, use a flash and hold the camera steady. Review and check your images at full magnification on your camera before removing the targets. Third, how to transfer your photos. Copy images to your computer at full resolution by plugging the camera directly into the computer or using a cloud transfer service that does not modify images. If using email, send as full resolution attachments and not embedded in the email body. Here is a summary of the target and photo techniques you will use to get the best results for the following photo modeler project work. Use letter sheets. Spread out targets and capture 15 plus per image. Place sheet A on a panel. Keep targets flat and spread them out, not just in a line. Do not move targets between photos. Use this technique for flat surfaces. Take one group of photos looking down. Take another group circling around the panels at an angle. Move the camera between photos. Don't spin in place and do not adjust the zoom. Ensure there is overlap between photos. Cover as much of the photo as possible with targets. Blurry targets cannot be detected. 
use full resolution images copied directly from the camera.